Calabaza, Calabaza. Hey, we're out here in San David. In the yard in San David. Um, it's getting kind of windy today, so we gotta be quick. This shot right here, this is the newbies and the failures. <laughs> we're gonna be working with them today. We made some splits last week and we're gonna be trying to see how they're doing. And we're going to reevaluate this bad boy. This bad boy had some troubles this winter. We cracked, he used to be a four high. We cut him back to a one high because, well, our little girl wasn't doing so great. So, give the queen a second chance. We're gonna see how she's doing. If she's not doing no bueno, we're gonna pinch her. And then these two, hopefully you can still see me, these two are splits off of a huge, two huge highs. We relocated them, we kept them here. The bigger hive to where we wanted them, so the easier access. As you can tell, we're on a hill. This is why it's the newbies. And we're going to see how their queen making's going. If they establish a queen, be capable. Come on for a ride. As we crack into this hive, we pull out our first frame. Normally I start with the third frame because the first two are normally stores of pollen and, and honey. And you know these, <clears throat> these killer bees, they can really pack it away. And so knowing this is a split, they're ready to roll. Um, you'll see me kind of move the bees out of the way so you can take a gander at that, that beautiful queen cell right there. That's what we want. Because this is a queenless split, meaning the queen, la reina, se quedó, stayed in the other bigger frame, the other bigger hive, excuse me. We want this hive to produce their own queen. We want them to have enough brood, enough um, bees in order to do so. Do so. You'll see that I'm, I'm doing a voiceover with this one, and that is because I got a new new case thinking. I'll go with a waterproof case, less they can sting. And yes, that was genius of me. I mean, there was probably just a little tiny gasket that they, they could hit, but it kept the bees off my camera. But with that, 
I kind of lost some audio because a bee just kept nailing that 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 case. As we proceed to party and take a crack into this awesome split, you can just see the bees are everywhere. That is the beauty of these these hives, and that's why you gotta wear protect, protective gear. We're making a split because, as you know, Africanized hives were started down in Brazil, shoot, almost 100 years ago. And what happened? They thought they could quarantine them. No, they got out. And of course, they just, reproduced and reproduced and now they cover everything as you can see i'm pointing right there there is another queen cell beautiful that, ex that is exactly what we want and as you look on that frame we have a good brood pattern but that is from the old queen so that will give us enough bees to carry through Perfect. So we've established they have food, they have brood, they have queen cells, and they have numbers. As you can see, I'm sitting there talking to myself with my hands. And that's what I normally do when I'm out by myself. I talk myself through it. I go through that checklist and I'm like, okay, how is this split doing? What does it need? How can a homie down the, down the hill on a different pallet, what can they donate to this cause so that we get another hive out of this? Like I was saying earlier, the Africanized bees started down in Brazil and they've taken over any hot climate all the way up into Arizona where we're at. And with that, we know one thing, they are reproducers. These things are constantly splitting. So it's better for us to do splits like this so that we can get another hive out of it instead of just half the bees flying down the road. So I go back in and I continue to look through the frames just in case, because I have other splits that I might need to steal some queen cells from, because I know they have at least three. We put it back in, and if you look, these frames are just covered. That, that's pretty covered for an Africanized hive, because as soon as you open up that box, they all take flight. So you, you number in all the ones that are flying, all the ones that are on the frame, and this, this box is packed, jammed packed. So that is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna button this hive back together. We're gonna send her on a merry way. I'm gonna give her another week, and then we're gonna reevaluate. Well, if you like this video, we invite you to like and subscribe.